dead at the back. And here is one last time to say goodbye to my sectional. As sad as it was to say goodbye to it, we enjoyed our time with this sectional. We literally beat it up. We used it, but it was time for it to make into a new home and it was leaving here on this day. So on this day, we went ahead and switched this rug. This rug is beautiful. It's soft and I love the size it is, but... My husband is not a fan of it. One, he saw me struggle a lot of times, but because I love it, I don't really say anything. And the one thing that I don't like about it is that it sheds a lot. And when I say it sheds a lot, it's all over our clothes, the furniture. It, it's like having a pet. And no matter how much I vacuum it, it just does not stop shedding. It's absolutely gorgeous rug and my husband was like, nope, I didn't even want this rug here in the first place. And he was happy to get his favorite rug back on, which I actually brought it back out. And I put it in the dining room when I added that accent wallpaper. But then my husband was like, nope, keep that for the living room. So today, I'm going to go ahead and introduce you our new furniture here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Forrest. I do all things homemaking lifestyle motivational cleaning videos decluttering everything i do diys as well name it you know mom style we do everything you know one minute we're heroes the next minute we are chefs we are babysitters we are moms we are cleaners we do everything so basically that's what you will find here on my channel and i am about to share the new chairs here so we got two cappuccino chairs all the furnitures were from wayfair they had a wayfair sale happening for i think it was a pre canada no not canada day actually i ordered it a while back i don't know they had a huge sale a while back about over a month ago and i was able to get them half price i found this legs very interesting they had this rubber that goes straight into the legs so that before you screw it onto the chair there's like that rubber in between i guess so that they maybe the screw doesn't scratch i don't know anyways we love it the color it's called mocha it's so beautiful unfortunately one of the chair was kind of like the threading was kind of coming off so i had to call wayfair and they are sending me the replacement i'm currently waiting for it but how cool is this to put the back like all you do is just click the two handles or this two metals that click together like the good old days I don't know what happened to the good old couches where you just they just come as they go you know you just open it and they're already assembled all you have to do is attach the legs but this one's it looks like they came in like five different pieces that I'm trying to figure out it was interesting it was really easy but they are so amazing they feel very like so we wanted something that was st like stiff not soft because you know how it is right with couches as you said over time they become very very soft and we don't want something that's going to become soft very quick and then you know in less than a year it's done and we do use our furniture really a lot look at this cute pocket where you can hide like this stuff in case there's a zombie apocalypse if i could fit in there i would absolutely hide well now everybody knows my secret clearly i can't fit in there but yeah i was just adding one last screw to attach to the back of the chair i got two of this and we also got one sofa and that came in like a navy i'll show you guys all and without any further ado let's jump in I also got these curtains. Uh, it's a linen curtain from Amazon. So there's two set here and two sets. So that's four. But with my windows, I probably need a whole lot more. So, because I have three there and then I have three over here. So if the four is not enough, I might add like two in the middle, like a sheer white uh, curtains in the middle just so that when we open it, that way we'll have the two middle just to keep that open and just have it 
not closed and yeah this is my backyard as well if you missed last week's video or my last video uh, we brought the mini gazebo here and it used to be right where that box is and then the box used to be right here and then those chairs used to be exactly what I'm pointing right there at the back side um, kind of just in the hall but right now I haven't redecorated yet I'm gonna be redecorating and then we're gonna add some gaming stuff and then there's gonna be a lot of plants that's gonna go alongside the fence and right now it's about to rain I can see it little drips here look at the sky it's super dark it looks like a nighttime but it's midday here all right Let's go ahead and assemble this chair with a YouTube magic. So here I'm going to go ahead and remove our old curtain. I'm not getting rid of them. I'm just kind of switching them and giving them a break and just going to use the new ones which are sheer linen and they are perfect for the summer because if you close them, you can have the blinds open and still the sun not directly hitting the house making it hot so originally i put the curtain directly into the rod that did not work out because it was hard to like if we want to open the curtains to move it back and forth and i had this beautiful bronze rings that i originally got it for my bedroom back earlier this year and they didn't work out for that curtain and those curtains worked out directly going straight into the rod funny how i got them for the for that curtain but then this curtains i i thought i'm just gonna put them straight into the rod like the other ones but it didn't work out so what i'm doing is that just to kind of honestly i'm just eyeballing a space in between each ring you know everybody does it the way that works for them for me i was just kind of playing around with them and it worked out fine the only things that i was short by one curtain so like it was a couple of days later, two days later actually, that I had to continue on finishing the living room. Plus, that this day here, the uh, the sofa was not there yet. So this was two days later. At this point, the sofa came and I had the curtains up, which I cannot wait to show you. I woke up in the middle of the night mm -hmm, na, na, na. And I wondered how you're always right It gets me I couldn't see what you saw in me mm -hmm. But you showed me how to believe Still gets me And it was my lucky day because all the four curtains fit perfectly I don't need to get any extra I love how soft and airy and floaty it is I feel like this is going to be a very long time curtain for me I'm enjoying it Sean is absolutely loving it and here is the reveal of our furniture that is what the two mocha looks like and then the sofa is like a soft linen in the navy blue color I love it it's very deep uh, this year any furniture we chose whether it was for indoor or outdoor we wanted anything that seats deep we didn't want anything that you feel like you're sitting on the edge of the couch or on the chair we wanted where you can feel like your bum is all the way in and your back is straight and everything is very like not stiff but i call it like very sturdy so that you can have nice posture i mean we're not getting young right but i love it and i cannot wait to decorate so Let's get into the best part. But I know that you need it all. Ooh, na, na, na. So I'm going to start up with the shelf. The only thing that I left the shelf was this vase here. And then at the bottom, my tray that I always have, which is perfect because it kind of covers the vent as well. But everything else is a very clean slate. 
so I'm gonna go ahead quickly dust some areas and we're gonna get into decorating and I'll never understand how you saw it coming Oh, but I will love you for it all mm. When I look back, I can see you're hiding Waiting for a moment to step in Oh, and I'll never understand how you saw it coming Oh, but I so everything on my Etta Gear shelf here is everything that I've already owned and I just kind of rearranged them because I really love these pieces. The only thing new I'm adding here are a few pieces that I recently thrifted including this frame that I got for $4 and I just added a print from Amazon along with I added on the side this candle holder which is made out of a cast iron it's very textured it's like a bronze color it's beautiful and this old vintage looking box here you can just you know have your little things that you want to hide in there or maybe if you like chocolate you know and you don't want to be causing a scene every time making you feel guilty that you're eating a chocolate so you can have your little hiding you know spot right there but i do love how my etta gear looks right now it's very airy looking it's very bright because everything on it is very neutral color and i want to also add you know me i love color so of course i'm gonna add a little bit of brightness to the space so i'm adding two pillows that are gonna be like rose colors and just have flowers to kind of break down the solid colors and the darker tones that I'm playing with here most of these pillows are my pillows that I already had on my sectional because it wasn't that long ago that I did redecorate it so I'm just adding this colorful pillows to kind of brighten up the space and summer it up on that couch and then on the two chairs here I'm adding one square pillow and one lumber pillow on each pill on each chair I mean it doesn't have to match always as long as everything balances and pulls together and honestly I thought it was gonna be risky but I love it it is just so beautiful maybe because the green has the same kind of cream color as the cream pillow on the left and then I'm adding this side table this side table has been with me for a very long time I mean before Anwar even was born that's how long I've had it and I can't get rid of it I tried getting rid of it but it just doesn't seem to leave and so now I'm just gonna play around with the coffee table and under the TV and I'm gonna show you guys what everything looks like I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what is the best part what you guys think of the new furniture or the new layout maybe if I need to switch it whatever ideas you guys have definitely shoot me and give it a thumbs up it really helps a lot my channel and I hope you are subscribed or consider subscribing before you leave here today if you have not already I honestly could not thank you so much for your time I love you all stay blessed and let's continue on with the rest of this decorating <music>